you make relatively swift passage across the region. Let's keep going, everyone. Just a little further. While you gave up opportunities to earn more soul along the way, you sense your fellow exile spirits would have suffered greatly had you gone the long way. Your companions held to what hope they had. Yeah, if my characters had been banished even longer, I am already having trouble there. Oh my gosh, it's the Skull Martians. This seems extremely ominous. Like, what even are these giant creatures? Was the land once full of giants before what, like, was there a dinosaur apocalypse that wiped out the giants of this world? Why were they humanoid? You reach the pit of Malith, having lingered in flagging hands as little as necessary. The intense gloom of the region had little time to shake everyone's resolve. Oh, slug market's here, and we got a new page. Who's in the wagon? Hey! Character development for you. You sense Jadariel's steel gaze well before you turn to her. Rita, rummaging about the wagon once again. Tell me something, now you are here. Look at me. Are you afraid of me? You consider the question. You have never before met someone like her, but do know something of what happens to those who remain in the downside for many years. I mean, I, I'm not afraid of her. I don't think she's ever done anything harmful. You're very much aware that she could snap you like a twig at any point. From what you know of her thus far, you sense no need to feel afraid of her. Like, I'm not really afraid. I recognize that she is buff as hell, but I'm not really afraid. You tell her that although you do not know, uh, you do not yet know each other well, you do not fear her, and on the contrary, feel safer in her presence. Tashi. Ruli. In that case, I have much work left to do. You shall fear me yet, if you survive this place. Now then, I shall go make my rounds. Okay, so she wants to be feared. Interesting. She walks away. You feel the floor of the wagon shake with her step. But Ariel gained one hope for the next right. Okay. So... She wants to be feared, but she's glad we don't fear her? What's our new page? The Empire's collapse in the words of Gol Golothanian, the Master General. It was not long before the Empire began to crumble. With my liege gone, his own country quickly turned upon itself. I must admit that this collapse had started long before the Emperor's disappearance. His decision to give chase after a myth but hastened the inevitable. All the while, the rope caller stood by, awaiting such a time as he could rule in my liege's stead. He would be our people's saviour. His first charge was to organise a search for the missing Solium Mur. Warriors, pathfinders and scholars heard the call, and prepared to seek him out. If you answer that you are scared of her, she takes a penalty. Interesting. Hmm. Nothing else in here, I think. What you got for me, bud? Uh, hey, you guys, you know, this place, a lot of folks, but not a lot of customers. Know what I mean? So, have a look around. Okay, you've got some more of this stuff, and I definitely can't have- It's 18 gold now?! It was three before! Wow. I acknowledge that it was difficult for you to get out here, but 18? Or a dash? You give me a whole star, I'll consider 18. 
Just the way it goes sometimes, eh, Dad? Told you, we told you. I bought- you could only buy one Stardust at a time! I bought all that I could! You got no money. Yeah, but I didn't want my companions to lose hope! And the choice between Stardust and hope, I choose hope. Okay, let's find our next... I can't think of the word! Oh my gosh, why am I having so much trouble today? Not contestants. Not opponents. I'm sure it starts with C. It's like opponents, but it starts with C. Is he riding his dad or holding his dad? I think he's the one riding his dad. He mentioned his dad's feet hurting in one of our previous shopping expeditions. As you make preparations for the coming ride, you wonder if the stars above will even be visible through the dense fog hanging over the pit of Malith. Then... Tizo seems to be very concerned by something in the vicinity. What I want to know is who did the voice acting for Tizo? Competitors! Challenge challenges! I think challenges was what my brain was trying to go for. Thank you, Logic. The little imp disappears in a hurry. Oh, is Tizo alright? He was so frightened. He was not frightened. He was issuing a warning. Silence. Everyone take cover. Dariel makes quick note of several hiding places among the nearby crags and rotted husks. You wait. Something about the place dampens your senses. All you feel is a creeping dread. Uh, judging from the fumes, I think you maybe might just be high as hell. Then, from the shadows, a writhing shape slides forward, its hulking form draped in rhymes. The shape stops. Slowly, its head turns from one of you to the next, each in turn. Wise of you to hide yourselves from us, little Nightwings. You trespass on the resting place of the Astral Born. We shall see when the stars muster the courage to illuminate this place. The creature vanishes into the dark. After a time, your companions reconvene. That was... alarming. I'm just... Are they human? What are the Astral Born? I didn't get a handy tooltip! How am I meant to cope with this world where I have no knowledge? That was a bog prone. Serpentine creatures native to the Commonwealth Southern Bogs, why they feared. I'm guessing that they're going to poison me. Though formerly part of the Commonwealth, the bog crones tend to keep to themselves. Indeed, that was Witched Mill. Is that like a good mild of the withdrawn? She is an ancient witch with an unhealthy obsession for Islak, the astral born monstrosity. The withdrawn are a triumvirate of bog dwellers compelled by sinister forces rather than by freedom. Tizo makes clear he has no love of Umild. I'm going with Umild. I think that's... Uh. Although the rites dictate she cannot harm you bodily, with her, best not to take unnecessary chances. Your status is banished slash unbanished, it's not like you have an HP star or stat. I also do not have an HP star, but no, I meant like... I'm betting that there's some sort of thing that she does that mucks without aura or something. There are trickle effects. That's what witches do. I Again, I've played the video games before. We'll take what chances we can get in all of this. Everyone, it's time. I'm just... Can people not taking part in the trials see this weird heavenly dragon ball convergence? 
Is this announcing to the entire world that trials are taking place? Why, you made it, Rita. Made it all the way to the detestable pit of Middle East. In doing so, of course, you have disturbed your ancient adversaries. Our ancient adversaries? I just met them. The deranged witch who leads them has big plans in store. Should she this music is super this? cool. Now, as you know, I normally the atmosphere would wish you is a so good. Feet. But in this case, I wish you a little bit of luck. Oh boy, I am not prepared for this. The Cronod Mill sees your companions gathered by their pyre. Little flames that shall never warm me here, much less survive the night. Hear us, Islak. Make the Nightwing suffer. <laughs> Ruki trots forward from your ranks. Listen here, your bag. You don't scare any of us one bit. You or your buddy, Islak. Now, we doing this or what? I feel like he took some trash talking lessons from Barker. The question hangs in the air for longer than is comfortable. It does seem to have drawn Mill's attention though. Uh. Ricky begins to squirm a bit. Then Udmil moves her slender fingers to her mask. <sighs> This character design is again so good. Just the angular lines and the colors. Super Giant is just so good, you guys. Flesh. His luck shall grow. His luck shall grow. His luck shall grow. He shall consume ye ere your little flame has died. That we shall ensure. But Mill slides off towards her followers. Ricky remains motionless for a time. He's a little bit scared. Yes, too. Whoops! They took TF2 lessons in how to make characters super recognizable on a battlefield. They all have incredibly distinctive silhouettes, and it's great. Who shall stand together here this night? Okay, who do I want? Can I, like, look at them? I can. What is your aura? I knew there'd be something up. So... You don't have much quickness and that worries me. I'm really fond of having Jody on defense. I think. Decided yet? Shush, Judge. I need to consider. Remember that Tizo and Jody have better hope right now? Yeah. Okay, Jody, you're up. I don't think I'm very good with Tizo. I think I do better with Ruki. But at the same time, I should at least try, right? Maybe I want two fast characters? Let's let's try that. Tizo. It is done. You'll never get better unless you use him. Eh. eh. You don't suppose that Crone's got it out for me, do you? No matter where ye go, his luck shall find ye and devour ye. You, you still didn't talisman him? I didn't put a talisman on Tizo. Oops. Now begin. Yeah, come on. You wanna fight? Uh, no. Ah, move. Oh man, they're so much better at swapping than I am. Okay. 
not the orb. Yeah, come on, run into my aura. Oh man, that didn't work as well as I hoped it would. Okay, I got in a goal. That makes me feel better. These people are super quick, though. The orb, take it. It kind of fell in the sewer, but that's fine. Oh, I want to run before that hit. Also, I saw that aura cast, and that was terrifying. Okay. Who wants to fight? Oh boy, I don't want to fight. Thank you. Stay behind cover. That's cool. You want to you wanna fight Jody? Oh shit, I didn't see that one there. Oh no. Somebody come back, please. Somebody's not going to come back. Ah. Okay, that means I've got everyone, though. Uh, go for Tizo. Seize that. Come at me. Swap. Uh, no, don't curb stomp me. Extremely rude. I was really hoping... Okay, if you insist on... Come on. That's... Okay, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Rookie is just so easy to get goals with. But then it leaves me without Rookie. Thank you. That didn't work as well as I hoped it would. Okay, run defense. We're fine. Ah, no, I didn't want to swap. Okay. Now I'm Hex. God, that... Exiles all are banished, I'm afraid. Well, I dare say. Well, I dare say indeed. Okay. Did you just get rid of the orb so that you could... Okay, that's... I couldn't swap back in time. I don't want to go back in there just yet. Okay. No, 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 no. I wanted to banish you. But your aura was bigger than mine, I think. Can you please be banished? Thank you. Good. Okay, get teaser. Good. Get in there! Okay, score the teaser. Getting better. The lifeblood of Islak. It flows within this lair and beneath this world. His lifeblood. It shall engulf ye in such blackness and despair. I mean, you're being really ominous, but like... Ah, yep. Difficult terrain. Love it. Which invokes a profane name, I shall repeat. Okay. Best beware of foul yeah. sorceries. Yeah, come at me. It missed. How dare you. Swap. Don't ever dunk the ball to get rid of it again. What? I didn't move that way. Okay, run defense. Uh, run! Okay, swap. Grab. Don't think that there's a good way for me here. What is magneting me here? Why can't I walk where I want to walk? Is like the arena size deceptive? I thought they had you there. Yeah, it's uh, a bit alarming, honestly. Please let me go. Go. Thank you. Okay, only four more points. I can do this. Now go on, just once more. Yep. Uh, you want to run into that aura for me, buddy? No! Give that back. It's mine. Oh, I fell into the hole. I got a little too enthusiastic. Go, 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 go! And the final dunk. I did it. I think the pools might be... I wasn't running into the pools, though. I was running around the edge. But decisive victory. Again, I'm okay with it. It would seem our adversaries failed to unnerve us. And Tizo praises everyone's courage against the milled and the withdrawn. See? Those bog dwellers, they're just a bunch of hissy talk. What an insult. Tizrak. It's 
Slack, we have failed thee, and the deed shall be repaid in blood. A, whose blood? B, I don't think it should be anyone's blood, you just lost a game of basketball, it's fine. As for ye fools, he ye shall be us. consumed, and everything around ye from the soil to the stars, ye shall see. Boundless are the teachings of the scribes. <laughs> Whose blood is a bad question to ask? I mean, I'm genuinely worried about the answer, though. Focus. Training. Prowess. The path towards survival on the blood border. These rites make similar demands of us. It's best to go on the offensive with not my blood? I mean, that is also a decent approach. Hmm. I don't really jump with Jadariel. But I also don't really do pyre damage. I do eventually want to slam dunk the enemies though. Family recovery. Okay, note to self, attempt to jump more. Okay, so I didn't earn a level up with Tizo, sadly. Uh, can I get my inventory here? No. Okay. Until the next. But I will put a talisman on Tizo. <laughs> Who's blood? Yes, blood. Having defeated the withdrawn in the ride, you and the others have some moments to recover from the ordeal in the relative safety of the black wagon. I do like that you have a salute instead of a taunt, more honourable, but isn't the fact that you're being honourable even more of a taunt? Like, you're taking the high road? Sir, so, when can we get out of here? What, Greentail? Had enough of the mill's hospitality for the time. Oh, Jody, yeah, thanks, I'm good. The reader and the stars will point the way, as ever. It's just... So far, we've kept on going north. If that's the case again this time... The Sea of Solace spreads north and west from here. For untold leagues. I could not tell you when last a vessel dared to sail those waters. Izo asserts himself during the conversation. Okay, but like, what's he saying? What is the matter, little one? Tizo is trying to get you to come look at something outside the wagon. Rita, please go see what he wants. You excuse yourself and follow the imp into the dark of night, which is, it could only possibly be a good life choice, right? In this godforsaken swamp? You find Faye and the lone minstrel already gazing up at the stars. Can you not read the stars yourself then, Mr. Minstrel? I fear it is not so simple as matters of can or cannot when it comes to me, Faye. We shall see what the reader has to say, for this is their charge. Jody is technically human, right? Human plus. She once was human. And here they are, in fact. Thank you for fetching them, Tizo. Tizo is happy to have obliged the lone minstrel. Reader, it would seem the skies have cleared to some extent. Please look upon the stars and see where they compel us to go next. We look towards the heavens. Seek now your destination. There, there are so many little stars. Okay, they don't do anything. Or as the Azure Star. The Azure Star burns bright over the ruins of a lost frigate in the Sea of Solace. That seems safe, and definitely not like 
time sensitive at all. The rites beckon you still further north, toward the middle of the Sea of Solace, which is an impossible oceanic expanse pockmarked by crude little islets. Attempts to sail across the drowned sea do not usually turn out so well. That's not good. You're joking, right, chum? Does the reader seem the joking type to you, Greentail? We do not argue with the stars. You talk like we can just go ride right out onto the water. Pardon my interruption, though perhaps we can. Say what? My client, Sandalwood. He has a way of anticipating such eventualities. West of here lies a place called Big Bertrude's. The proprietor is an old companion of his. She may be able to assist us. A small bog dweller outpost at the edge of the sea. Beach party, beach party. All sorts of contraband used to come through there. Some of it fatal if touched or inhaled. Edwin's smile returns. That sounds like our best shot right now. Let's pack it up and move as soon as possible. Okay. Like, the minstrel wants to talk to me. Stop wrapping sarcastic quotation marks around my beach party. There is going to be a party at the beach, I swear to you. Greetings, Rita. It is good that you are here, for there is something that I wish to tell you privately. Do you have a moment? I shall not keep you long, though I know your time is precious. Uh, yeah, maybe later. Like, this information seems like it might not be- come on. Seriously? You bid him to continue, and make clear your interest in whatever he has to say. Very well, and thank you for your time. And I should further note, Matters that pertain directly to the rites I must reveal to you alone, for thus I am obliged. In any case, when you confronted the withdrawn and which you milled, you might recall she tended to invoke a certain name. Your slightly worryingly intense interest? Islach, the astral born. I hesitate to say it even now. You would be forgiven if you took the ravings of a mill for mere nonsense. However, her words, as it turns out, ring with a certain truth. Before the union of the eight scribes, when first they found themselves here in the downside, this land was even less hospitable, if that can be believed. It was once... Ugh. It was ruled over by the greater titans which are colossal monsters that once roamed the downside. The scribes together slew them one by one, and through this forged their bonds. Hmm. The one called Islak was the eldest and most fearsome of the lot. Just the same, the scribes managed to defeat it. They later used Islak's own hide and ichor to bind the Book of Rites. Oh, okay, so it's god flesh. That's, that's fine. Honestly, I kind of see why the witches are mad. Killing the deity seems a bit... Like, I understand why they would not be able to forgive that. However, Islak did not truly die, but by some accounts it seems to be incapable of death. The creature is regenerating even now, though very, very slowly. Endless books! Its vow is to devour this land and everything in it. Only then can it return onto whatever plane that banished it to ours. Cognavedictus. So, in a way, it is an exile, just like you. If ever should the creature be reborn, it shall be many ages hence. Thus, the ravings of Umbils are more or less inconsequential. For the while. As you know, Look, it's a practical consideration. Yet, the history of Islak is inexorably linked to the rites, and therefore must be known. I trust your research of the book shall lead you to discover more in time. I hope all of this is of some reverence. 
And now I leave you to your more immediate concerns. I shall go check to see how everyone is faring at this time. He heads out into the evening, bidding you a good rest of the evening. I like... It's not sparkling, so there's nothing new in there. Okay, 